an attack in Scott, eerily similar to a case out of Florida connected to the dangerous drug known as bath salts. Now we want to warn you, some of the video in this story could be too graphic for some viewers. KTC's Maddie Garrett reports. A disturbing attack in Florida where a man bit the face off of another man. Now a similar case over the weekend in Lafayette Parish. During the attack, the suspect bit a chunk of the victim's face off. Police say 43-year-old Carl Jacno knew the victim and was upset over a domestic issue. This is where the attack took place in front of the victim's house. He was out doing work in his yard. And while he declined an on-camera interview, Todd Crater says he was shocked when he was bitten in the face. Crater says he sprayed wasp spray in Jacno's face to try and stop the attack. That's when police say Jacno left, only to show up at another man's house in Karen Crow, where he held him at knife point and stole a handgun. It was there that deputies caught up with Jacno and arrested him. Very unusual. It's not something we have every day. That unusual behavior could be due to drugs. Sheriff's deputies say Jacno was clearly under the influence of some kind of drug. A friend of the victim says she believes he was using bath salts. A drug police say can cause a state of excited delirium and dangerous behavior. Extremely dangerous. A lot more dangerous than uh, some of the drugs on the street. But police say we may never know if bath salts were involved in this case because no blood tests were taken before he was booked into jail. In Scott, Maddie Garrett, KGC, TV3. Suspect Carl Jacno remains in the Lafayette Parish Jail with a bond set at just over $300,000. The victim was released from the hospital. He is recovering 